Good morning. Let us discuss current affairs. Atal Tinkering Laboratories. Atal Tinkering Laboratories were started under Atal Innovation Mission. Atal Innovation Mission is under the supervision of Niti Ayob. Atal Innovation Mission is under the supervision of Niti Ayob. Under Atal Innovation Mission, Atal Tinkering Labs or Laboratories are being created to instill a quest for innovation in the minds of young children. Atal Tinkering Laboratories were created. Cultivate 1 million children to contribute to India and to instill the skills of curiosity, creativity and innovation. Curiosity, creativity and innovation, Atal Tinkering Labs were created. They were being promoted across the schools in India. To design the mindset in the children, computational thinking, design the mindset, computational thinking, adapt to learning and physical computing skills in the children. Atal Tinkering Labs will create a do it for yourself mindset in the children. Do it for yourself mindset in the children and it will create a workspace in that do it in our do it for yourself mindset. It in promotes inquisitiveness in STEM, S-T-E-M, Science, Technology, Engineering, Maths. S T E M STEM Science, Technology, Engineering, Maths. It is being promoted for the children from grade 6 to grade 10th, class 6 to class 10th. This is Atal Tinkering Labs or Laboratories under Atal Innovation Mission. Next, few months back, new program was started, new project was launched named Relief 123. Relief 123 is a new disaster management program launched by BSNL, Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, in collaboration with Vihan Services Limited, Vihan Networks Limited, VNL, Vihan Networks Limited. It wants to bring disaster response solutions to respond for public safety immediately. Whenever a natural disaster comes, any disaster management issue comes, Relief 123 will give faster and speedy communication services so that we will have disaster response very fast. This is called Relief 123 BSNL along with Vihan Networks Limited. Relief 123. Next important current affairs is World Government Summit. Regularly, we have world government summits. It will occur, they will conduct, they will be conducted by UAE, the government of UAE. This year, India was invited as a guest country to world government summit. It's a prestige to India because this is a recognition that India have a lot of developments, progress in various science and technology, ISRO, economic development and all other issues. So India was invited as a guest country for the World Government Summit which is going to be held from February 11 to February 13, 2018. The mission of the summit, the mission of the summit is to strengthen its partnership with countries that encompass pioneering experiences in strategic areas that countries which have pioneering experiences in strategic areas for the betterment of the various world communities and countries. The world communities and countries will learn a lot from this experience of world government summit various countries. And recently there is a decision that International Rice Research Institute which is located in Manila will have its branch regional office in Varanasi. 
the Prime Minister's constituency in Varanasi. The International Rights Research Institute, which is located at Manila, will have its regional office. There are 17 regional offices of IRRI, International Rights Research Institute, across the world. And in Varanasi, research regional organization is going to be started. As you all know, the Rice Research Institute is pioneering re doing research in new rice varieties and one of the important supporters for India's Green Revolution is opening its regional office in Varanasi. And we all know National Regional Rice Research Institute, India's National Rice Research Institute is located at Orissa. India's Rice Research Institute is located at Orissa. IDBA Bank launched Project Nishay. IDBA Bank launched Project Nishay. It's a, it's a project along uh, made in consultation with Boston Consultant Group, Boston Consultation Group for better financial performance. For better financial performance. IDBA branch launched, IDBA Bank launched Project Nishay. Next important today's editorial is about Kulbushan Jado. As we all know, Kulbushan Jado's family two days back met Kulbushan Jado in Pakistan. There is a diplomatic spat between India and Pakistan on this. Indian MEA released that the family got harassed and Pakistan retaliated that the wife of Kulbushan Jado wore shoes with some metal object. In the editor it was written that in some of the prison manuals in India also, metallic objects and anything, something, all these things like that will not be allowed. At the same time, when the person's life is hanging between birth, between death, death sentence and life and birth, one should not encourage diplomatic spat rather than we should engage in quiet diplomacy. Our objective right now is to save Kulbushan Jado and uh, India should work towards protecting the Kulbushan Jado. Next important lead article today is about Nepal. Nepal's new elections and the new, you know, after that what happened in the new Nepal. As you all know, UML, Unified Marxist Leninist Party had a lead and then even Nepalese Congress got good number of seats but there is every chance that UML might form the government. For the first time in Nepal, you have seen a very good setup and new elections were conducted according to the new constitution in Nepal. For the first time in a single year, the local elections, the provincial elections and also the countries wide elections, all elections took place in Nepal. There are few issues which we have to address. Number one, Nepal's democracy is good for India and for all practical purposes, Oli might become the Nepalese Prime Minister. But the thing is, Oli's recent visit to Nepal-China border, there is a border place between Nepal and China, Raswagadi, R-A-S-U-W-A-G-A-D-H-I, Raswagadi, Oli visited to this border of Nepal, the only Nepal's border post, trading post with China. Raswagadi Kerung, K-E-R-U-N-G. It is a precarious situation for India. Oli wanted to demonstrate that he can play China card against India. This India should be very careful. Rest all, the democracy in Nepal, proportional representation in first passport system in Nepal, and Nepal's stability, all these things are important for India, but Nepal's China's friendship is a precarious condition for, precarious situation for India. India should take a call because Nepal is India's immediate neighbor and you all know that we have Madeshi issue also between India and Nepal where Madeshis are considered as half Indians who are in the Terai region in Nepal. In the new constitution, they did not get proper treatment in Nepal. Next important article today is about encephalitis. As you all know, Few months back in Gorakhpur, children died in the hospital because of Japanese encephalitis and after that for the shortage in the some issues, children died. Apart from Japanese encephalitis, there is an encephalitis recently 
which took the toll of more than 100 children in Malkangiri in Orissa. In Orissa, Malkangiri district, children died because of encephalitis. Encephalitis is a very serious uh, disease, but there is an urgent need to take a call on this encephalitis. Uh, children, it seems that the reason for this encephalitis is, children ate wild bean, wild bean called Bada Chekunda, B-A-D-A Bada, C-H-A-K-U-N-D-A. Children ate Bada Chekunda wild bean and this bean has spread this encephalitis. There is an urgent need to tackle the issue of encephalitis, to prioritize encephalitis. India is now focusing more on dengue and other viruses rather than encephalitis and Japanese encephalitis. Even our National Institute of Virology and National Center for Disease Control, they are all discussing about this uh, encephalitis, but India has to focus. And this year, 2043 people died because of encephalitis, Japanese encephalitis. 2043 people died because of Japanese encephalitis. Urgently, we need to take care of the issue. Acute encephalitis syndrome. This is not encephalitis, but syndrome. Acute encephalitis syndrome. This issue also we should address. Next important article is about Delhi pollution. As you all know from many days, Delhi pollution is in air pollution Delhi is in news. The article was an extensive article about Delhi air pollution. Starts starting with Sri Lankan cricket players going out of the stadium in Delhi, complaining breathing problem because of air pollution. And second thing, the other wrote, in Delhi you have seen anti-corruption movement, you have seen Nirbhaya rape movement, but there is no such mass movement in Ramlila, Maidan and other places against the air pollution. Rather, people have taken to WhatsApp to discuss their issues and to show their grievance against air pollution. And the other also wrote, municipal garbage burning, waste and vehicular pollution is causing the dangerous situation in Delhi. And we always complain about farmers burning of crop residue. And NASA satellites images that farmers nearby states in Delhi are burning the crops as residue. More than burning the crops residue, the vehicular pollution and municipal weight burning is very crucial in Delhi. And as you all know, Delhi have more than 10 million cars with 18.6 million population. Only top 15 to 20 percent of the people in Delhi have cars, but this is the uh, damage they are creating to the Delhi air pollution. And as you all know, Delhi, the capital of India, should also have the prestige of environmentally clean city and we all we should all work for it. As uh, government now is releasing around 10,000 buses in Delhi to reduce air pollution, to reduce vehicle air pollution because individual vehicles car can carry up to 4 or 5 passengers. Whereas if you people board the bus, they can carry ma majority of the passengers in the buses. That is also an issue. And uh, as you all know, last year to reduce this congestion and uh, air pollution, they got into this uh, odd and even formula and rich people in Delhi started purchasing two cars, one odd number car and one even number car so that on the even day they can travel in even number car and the odd day they can ca travel in the odd number car. Apart from this there are many issues in Delhi where people are ready to purchase air purifiers and people are ready to do many, most of the things but people are not ready to forego with vehicles which cause serious damage to the environment. Delhi government is opting to go for artificial rains with uh, cloud seeding instead of bringing awareness about the air pollution in Delhi. If situation continues, there is urgent need to go with the Delhi will be in an emergency situation. So we have to control this air pollution in Delhi. This year in Klims or mains, air pollution is going to be a major topic because from last one year, continuous articles are coming on air pollution in this respect. Next important article is about Talaki Biddat. As you all know, Talaki Biddat, the government made a bill and introduced. Here, there are few issues. In no country in the world, this type of offense will receive such a punishment. And you all know, in Talaki Biddat bill, the person will get three years punishment if it is proved that he has given instant talaq. The other compared Indian situation with Pakistani law. Even in Pakistan, after giving talaq, the husband has to report to the council, union council, chairman of the union council, and he will take the call. If the husband did not report in 30 days, 
the husband will get punishment for one year. That too if he does not report. But this law is being criticized. The bill is being criticized because three years punishment was prescribed for the person who committed talaki biddat or instant triple talaq. So the other compared it with Pakistani law and asked Indian government to see this, Indian parliament to verify this and try to make a better law, a progressive law. Next important article, a very crucial article on IR, India and the Indian Ocean region. India and the Indian Ocean region. In this article, America contended in its national security strategy that China is a rival and challenges to, challenger to American security, whereas India is a partner and is, India is effective strategic partner for its security. But India should not completely trust on America's mode. America might try to pit India against China. America may try to pit India against China. India should be very wary against this. At the same time, India should be a queen of Indian Ocean. India should have effective control on Indian Ocean. Instead of India taking help for other, from other countries to be a leader in Indian Ocean, India should be in a position to help the other countries to be a leader, to help the other countries in the Indian Ocean region when they are in a problem. But we have formed Quad. America, Australia, Japan and India are in Quad group. India should not depend on other countries to get sub support in the Indian Ocean region because Indian Ocean is a region of India. And India should not feel happy that America is helping India. In fact, India is the position because India is no more a balancing power. India is a leader, should be a leading power, not just a balancing power. With the growing prowess of India in the region, India should think about this. And recently, you know, Goa Maritime Conclave, where we had invited 10 countries to have an effective maritime security in the Indian Ocean region. You should also concern with Goa Maritime Conclave. Apart from that, there's a, India recently had an agreement with Singapore. India recently had an agreement with Singapore. India right now can use the mouth of Changi Naval Base, C-H-A-N-G-I, Changi Naval Base in Singapore. India should have an effective role in this region rather than India taking the help of other countries to be a regional power in Indian Ocean. As you all know, our Ministry of Culture launched Project Mausam. Our Ministry of Culture launched Project Mausam to reinvigorate cultural ties with the Indian Ocean countries in order to counter China, China's string of pearls policy, in order to counter American hegemony in world politics, India should be a queen in Indian Ocean region. Apart from this, the interest of America, Australia and Japan in forming the Quad is Pacific Ocean, particularly South China Sea. But the interest of India is Indian Ocean, more than South China Sea. As you all know, India's interest start with Gulf of Aden to Strait of Malacca. India should be a leading power in this region by using all its foreign policy and diplomacy rather than completely depending on America and other countries. These are the important current affairs today. And the last thing we have is net neutrality. In net neutrality article, American Donald Trump allowed the internet service providers in America to show some bias towards certain websites. The American FCC chairman Ajit Pai Ajit Pai also supported this, saying that if they don't collect some money by showing some preference to some websites, how can they get investments? Ajit Pai said, how can internet service centers, service providers will get investments if they don't collect money by favoring certain websites? Trump as a businessman have done against net neutrality, whereas India's try is favoring new rules and regulations in favor of net neutrality. This is a cause of concern in America, whereas India is working towards net neutrality, our try. American FCCC is allowing ISPs, internet service providers, need not follow net neutrality. They can collect money and show some protectionism towards some websites 
and can provide some facilities to certain websites, speed and other things. Whereas India, try is disallowing net, disallowing preferences to certain websites and try is trying to hard to promote net neutrality. Thank you very much.